Did you know that what pricing you choose for your products or services is the single biggest predictor of what kind of revenue you can expect to make in your business? Now, if this sounds obvious, it should be. But when I suggest to people that they should charge higher rates or increase their prices, I get a lot of pushback and I get a lot of honesty. I get this response a lot, which is, Graham, I really struggle with the idea of raising my prices. Can you relate to this? If so, it might be because you are falling prey to one of the three popular myths about charging low prices. That's right, there are myths out there because it's very popular, it's very safe for people to wanna charge low and reduce their prices or undercut the market. And I'm always fascinated with why people wanna do this when if they simply increase their prices, they can increase their revenue. It's very simple math, but I think it's because these myths are very powerful and we've convinced ourselves that they're true. So let me break down these three myths for you. Hopefully they will help you get out of maybe a rut you're in and see the light and then do as Seth Godin says, which is charge high and justify. Myth number one is, I'm new, so I need to charge less. I'm a brand new business, nobody knows me, or I'm new in the marketplace, so I gotta charge less to establish myself and you know, maybe I can move my way up. The reason this is a myth is because how new or how well known you are has nothing to do with how much value you can bring. Yes, there is some credibility that comes from longevity, and that is something to Use to your advantage. If you've been in business for 10 years and you have thousands of satisfied customers, then promote that. That only helps you. But that doesn't mean that the brand new business who has zero customers is any less valuable or even less experienced. It just means that they're newer to the marketplace. He or she could still add a ton of value to a potential customer regardless of how new they are. So reframe your thinking. Stop looking at how new or well known you are because just because you're well-known doesn't mean you should charge high either. It's all about how much value you can bring. So the less you think about yourself and, oh, I'm new, oh, I'm brand new to this, I can't charge enough, that's very narcissistic, that's very self-focused. I tell my students, you'll never get anywhere in business if you keep looking at yourself. You have to look outward, you have to look at the people you're trying to serve. Can I help them? How can I help them? Where can I add value? Confidence comes from that. Confidence in business comes from knowing that, hey, I can help this person. I can serve them. I can ease a pain or a frustration or help them achieve a desired result, hope, or dream. So focus on where you can add value, and if there's value to be given, charge accordingly. Myth number two, the lower my prices, the more sales I'll make. First of all, that's not always true. Just because you have low prices doesn't mean you're gonna make more sales. Those things aren't always correlated, okay? One does not cause the other. It can be true, okay? Walmart has been the king or queen of low prices for so long, and they do a large volume, which is the other point. Even if it were true, even if you lowered prices and sales increased, you would have to push a massive amount of volume to match what you had before, let alone increase your revenue. This is a lot harder than it looks to make the amount of sales you need to make off of low, low prices to live the life you wanna live and meet your income goals is a big endeavor that could involve a bigger team, bigger infrastructure, which means more costs, means more work and more effort. It takes more effort to sell a ton of product and a ton of service than it does to sell a little bit of product and a little bit of service. So this race to the bottom that we potentially justify by saying, well, I'll make more sales, it's just a myth. Unless you're the best at this in the world, and there's very few of them that are, you will lose. McDonald's, Walmart, these guys are the best. They have the infrastructure, they have the manpower to be able to command rock bottom prices and then offer their products at rock bottom prices and push out product all over the world. It's insane. They're winning, but we can't be them. You don't even wanna try to be them. So again, what's probably gonna happen if you lower your prices or have low prices is you're gonna sell probably the same amount of product as someone who would charge more, only you're making less. It's a frustrating place to be. Don't do it. And the third and final myth of low prices that is out there, and I know it's out there, is this. If I charge less, 
I'll get more sales and word will spread. Word will spread, meaning I'll get more referrals, more future customers, my brand will grow. It's almost like baked in marketing. Again, go back to the second myth. Don't assume lower prices means you will get more customers. But even if you do, your word, your brand will spread to the wrong kind of customers. Low price customers, customers who only want to spend a little bit of money with you and they aren't willing to invest with you are, no offense, the wrong kind of customers. There's nothing wrong with them as a person. They're just not the type of customer you want for your business. In my experience, when I lower my prices, I attract a certain type of customer. And this type of customer demands the most and refuses to pay anything. When I have premium prices, I attract customers who are willing to pay those premium prices and they don't ask for anything above and beyond. They are perfectly satisfied, perfectly content. They don't really refund and they get the most out of my products. It's very interesting. The type of price point you're at will determine the type of customers you attract. And trust me, you don't want low price customers. So back to the beginning. If you need to increase your revenue, the best thing you could do is increase your prices. It's obvious and yet few people do it. Why? Because we're afraid and because we've believed a few myths about low prices. Low prices will not save you. Low prices will not help you. They only tie your hands behind your back, limit what you can reinvest in your business, attract the wrong kind of customers, and reduce the number of sales you'll make. Charging high prices and then justifying those high prices by bringing a ton of value only helps you. It increases revenue, it increases what you can reinvest into your business so you can better serve your customers, it attracts the right kind of customers, and it helps you see yourself and your business in a new light. You realize, I am a premium provider, I add a ton of value, I can help people. I don't need to continuously have sales, I don't need to continuously draw my prices with a race to the bottom like everyone else. I can stay here and I don't need as many sales to make the money I need. That takes off a lot of pressure because I don't need to reach as many people or have as much web traffic. I just need a smaller, viable audience that will sustain me in my business and I can help them and they're satisfied as well. So let me ask you a question. Do you struggle with your pricing? Have you fallen prey to one of these three myths? If so, leave me a comment below this video. Let me know which of these three myths you relate to the most or was convicting the most. And then tell me, are you gonna raise your prices? I wanna hear from you. I wanna help you dialogue with this a little bit. It's okay if you're there. We're all there at some point. We all struggle with this insecurity because at the end of the day, that's really what it is. It's insecurity. I fall prey to it. We all fall prey to it. Leave a comment. Look forward to seeing what you have to say. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to this channel and liking the videos. I'll see you on another video real soon.